we doing today? Welcome to Cape Snakes. My name is Maddie, and I completely forgot that I was supposed to be filming this, but today we are building two enclosures for my red tail boas. They are six feet plus, one of them is probably seven foot plus. Uh, but I got all the pieces cut already, all about assembling the actual enclosures. As you can see, this is the bottom, and we got all the tops over there, and the side pieces, and the back piece. It's a pretty straightforward build, there's not much to it, honestly. Um, all the pieces are cut to the same exact width and length, and when you assemble it, it's pretty straightforward. It's like building a box, basically. The only tricky part is gonna be the actual doors, but they won't be that hard. I got some three quarter inch by one and a half inch PVC. That's gonna act as the substrate barrier as well as the door frames. I have some quarter inch Lexan left over. I also have a bunch of other chunks upstairs left over. That will be used for the actual doors themselves. So let's just get into it. I'm not going to do much explaining on this. Um, I'll kind of show you the process when we get to actually assemble it. Right now it's kind of just screwing quarter inch PVC to half inch plywood. That makes up the actual size, the backs, the bottoms and whatnot. I did order 120 watt radiant heat panels for their basking spots. I don't want to do any heat tape. I tried that in their old enclosure. It just doesn't really work out long run. Their old enclosure is built out of melamine, which does not last at all. It's stained. It, you know, I clean it every time. The second I see a poop, I'm in there cleaning it. And over time, it just stains really, really bad. So PVC is the way to go. Most of this video is probably just going to be a time lapse, but that's okay. When we get to the actual assembling part, I'll kind of show you what I'm doing, how I'm doing it. But let's start screwing all these pieces together. In total, I bought three sheets of half inch plywood. That basically makes the structure for the enclosure itself. And then I bought three sheets of quarter inch PVC. And that is basically the waterproofing aspect of it. When we get to the assembling part, I'm gonna take PVC cement and um, cement all the seams. And that will make it watertight. I don't have to worry about anything leaky leaking and whatnot i most likely will add vents somehow maybe a fan like i did in turk's new enclosure but we'll get to that point when we get there the heat panels are on back order they're supposed to be restocked sometime this month hopefully because i want to get them out of their old enclosures now and that will pretty much finish up all the enclosure buildings for that room for right now I do have plans to make some more racks. Next, after this enclosure build, I will be building my own incubator out of PVC. But for now, let's focus on these two enclosures and get them done. Hardware-wise, I'm using half-inch wood screws, number eight. Um, we're going through quarter-inch PVC into half-inch plywood. It should be more than enough as long as we drive them pretty deep inside. So let's get started. This is the bottom or the top. It doesn't really matter. They're all cut to the same length. If they're a little off, that's okay because of the way that we're actually building this. Think of it as a house. Just for examples purposes, the sides sit on the inside edge of each side and then the back sits also on the inside edge like this. So if it's a little off, that's okay. As long as we keep it true and square, it will be just fine. Screw 
power of editing, I will have the rest of them put together and then we can start actually assembling. Basically, to sum it all up, we got it all together, sides, back, everything, I'm going to put the top on. This is your uh, substrate barrier, even though I don't use substrate, I just use paper towels or newspapers, uh, uh, paper itself. And then we're going to put the top on, because I can't do anything without this top on, like calculating for the doors, and putting this top trim. Battery died on me.
one of the six foot enclosures and look at that it came out awesome I am going to add a center brace in the middle here uh, just for extra support also because I believe for the doors I'm doing two doors so uh, they're gonna be drop down um, and I think just splitting them down the middle will make it easier so I don't have to open up one big long door um, also adding the center support will give it extra strength I'm really happy with how the main construction came out with this first one I have to do one more didn't really take me that long but I'm gonna bust out the other one I'm not gonna film it it's just the same motions repeated I am going to move these into the reptile room tonight because there's something upstairs that needs to come down here and uh, these take up quite a bit of space so we're gonna get the second one done I'm gonna do the doors tomorrow that's going to be a second video because those are going to be very tedious in doing so and then once I do the actual setup once I do the actual setup with the heat panel I'll do a video on that as well um, just kind of help you guys out if you know you have large snakes and you have, you're trying to figure out what to do so I'm gonna do the second one now and then uh, find out how I can get these into the reptile room by myself because there's nobody here to help me so um, I'll get back to you well guys I got the second enclosure done came out as good as the first one did and I take a look at it there you go both of them identical right on top of the Turk exact dimensions is six foot long two foot deep and um, 12 inches high a little less than 12 inches high it is predominantly bigger than what they are in right now. Tomorrow's project is to work on the doors and get those done. That is going to be a second video because it's going to take me quite a while to do the doors. They have to be somewhat perfect as close as possible. Um, to give you a quick rundown on my expenses so far. So if you're looking to just do one six foot by two foot enclosure, you will need two sheets of PVC and two sheets of plywood. Um, quarter inch PVC, half inch plywood should calculate to around $150. Um, and if you're gonna do a radiant heat panel, that's another, uh, I believe they are $100, that's what I spent. So in total, you're probably looking at said and done 350 plus acrylic or, or whatever, what do you wanna do for the doors, but cheaper than what you could buy commercially or online um, and this fits my needs much better than something I could buy online that being said next project after this as I'm waiting for the heat panels to come in is a incubator the incubator is going to be 48 inches tall and 26 inches wide and it's going to fit um, basically Turk and all this is going to scooch all the way down to that wall right there so that will leave me a perfect spot for an incubator right there and then on top here i can do a snake rack adult rack from top of turk all the way to the top basically just maximizing my space as much as possible eventually i am going to do floor to ceiling racks for all the hatchlings uh, i think i'm gonna or floor to ceiling racks for hatchlings and adults and sub adults that's something I kind of skipped over. I should probably do a sub-adult rack as well. But yeah, that basically wraps up this video for today. They came out awesome. I'm really happy how they came out. Uh, I do have to pull them back out of this room to PVC cement the seams, but I need the space out there to actually build the doors and whatnot. But any questions, you can shoot me a DM on Instagram at cape underscore snakes 508 you can also leave a comment down below and i'll try to answer it as soon as possible you probably have better luck on instagram but uh give me a follow like subscribe do what you gotta do and i hope you have a great day